<laughs> What's up? This is Blue Robinson, and you're watching Amru Dunn TV. It is what it is, baby. So it's October time, was it last year? Yeah, in October, yeah. I, I want to hear some, some experiences, like, you know, how was it like touring with Things that the people that we see tell, tell me a bit about. Yeah, but. Because you tweeted something about, I can't remember what the tweet was, it was like, um, like, Tiny's really, like, what he says in his music, like, how it is behind the scenes, whatever. I can't remember what the tweet oh, was. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Um, I think I basically said, you've heard Parcel, mm -hmm. and they live... That, yeah. That, down to a T. <laughs> um, yeah, it was fun, it was fun, it was wicked. That was my first ever tour experience, so um, it was it was a learning, you know, um, experience for me. And obviously I know Tiny as well, because Tiny's from my area, so I've known him since he was in school and stuff, so to see him develop has been wicked, you know. We haven't been, all, obviously, in, in, in direct contact all this time, because I've been doing my thing, he's been doing his thing, but we've always, always known each other and had like, a mutual understanding and respect for what we both do. So for him to ask me to, to, to you know, to be on his tour, it was just a, it was nice. It was a big deal for me. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, they really, they're a crazy, crazy bunch of guys, <laughs> but they, they really work hard, very hard, and they're very like passionate and stuff about what they do. And they've, they've all come a long way, so it was wicked. And did you, was there, did you do stuff with Jesse Gitt J back in the days? Was that? Oh no, we were in, um, we were in a musical together mm -hmm. in like 2000 or 1999. Yeah, during the millennium, during the like night, the period, um, and yeah, we were. Yeah. But we were in a, cause she did like musical theatre and that kind of stuff as well when she was younger. So we were in it, and also um, Rochelle from Saturdays was in it. So I've known them since they were really young. You know what I mean? And like you've seen, you know, everyone's past and that. So it's wicked to still be doing it. You know, for a lot of us, still you know have the passion. It's not as I'm not as recognisable, cause I live in London, so. Mm. It's like, I don't walk around London and everybody knows me. You know, I haven't been on TV or anything yet with my music. So I'm sure that's all to, still to come. But I don't know, it's, it's kind of new. I'm not used to having this many followers and this many tweets and stuff and fan pages and all this kind of support. So it's really, really nice. It's really positive and I appreciate it all. Um, I don't really know how to... It hasn't, it hasn't been that crazy yet. So it's not like... Oh, all these girls throwing them themselves at me or being crazy fanatics yet. But people do say that. Um, it's hard to have a stable relationship once you become a signed artist because your workload. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can understand that definitely. Yeah, so it must be like a busy schedule. So what is like, um, what's a busy week like for Blue Robinson? Um, so far, stuff like this, interviews. Um, I got a couple of interviews today. Um, um, I might have to go and um, film something or, or be in the studio, record something, or. Um, what else might I be doing? Have a performance somewhere, traveling around the country, doing a tour. There's a lot of different stuff. Right now, it's, it's, it's I can, it's pretty okay. I have, I still have free you know, time. It's gonna pick up though. Yeah, I mean, when the single comes out and stuff, once um, hopefully it does, you know, it does good and gets me a bit more attention and awareness. And then I'm sure it'll be a bit more hectic. Yeah. Now, creative control. Um, most people will say that once an artist comes over to a major. They're not always given the creative control, but for you, are you able today to make the type of music that you want? What does the label say? No, nah, no, nah. the label have not had any. So far, like they haven't, they haven't been like, you should make this kind of music. I don't think that would make any sense because I've been doing what I've been doing before I got signed anyway, and that was kind of like our plan, like me and my manager and stuff, to to like build up a fan base audience before we even step into that world doing what I love, you know, making the kind of music that I want to make, you know, having that bit of an old school soul funk feel and, and just um, a good vibe. Because I think I'm the one who has to sell it, so if I'm doing what's true to me and what feels good and, and it's connecting with people, then it wouldn't make any sense kind of changing it. But, it, but it's a, it is a team thing, you know, we, should, we work together with the label now that I'm saying and stuff. But um, yeah, so far, I've, you know, I've got my creative control. So, you, you know, I think you, you seem to have a good manager. Alright, so he's alright. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's important, though, isn't it, for that to have the right person? Oh like, yeah. Because yeah, like, yeah. obviously, with some of the ideas you say that, it seems like you guys worked in tandem. Yeah, so, man, like, definitely. Up. Like, I really feel like I was actually thinking about this today when I was in my house, I was thinking like we're a proper, proper like a good team mm -hmm. so far. The team I have around me that that we've built, you know, me and my manager, and, yeah, and our immediate team and then the label and stuff. Like, everybody's really passionate and stuff and. My manager's like the biggest hustler ever. Like he just he he just keep, he works hard, and he like 
it's like it's his job to kind of get me in the through the door yeah. and then I have to sell it kind of thing like with the Justin tour and stuff he got me the platform and it's like up to me to make sure I win over the fan win over these new supporters and stuff and yeah I think so far like, I believe in my team a lot and hopefully you know they believe in me as well so it's definitely teamwork okay now I've got a couple of questions from Angel Patrice okay no Patrice Angel okay she said do the experiences from your songs come from experiences or are they stories you're telling because a lot of them are about girls and relationships I think I just have sometimes I just have a good imagination <laughs> and like I can put myself in the space whether it's some somebody's told me and I've elaborated on it or if it is something that I've just been through myself sometimes it's easier to just talk about what you've been through yourself because you know it's just how you feel and it's honest and um some songs it's just like like showgirl and stuff it's just just a good vibe thing, some people can have fun with and enjoy a good fun concept. Yeah, yeah so it's a bit of both really. Yeah, and how has your family reacted to your success and progression in music? Um, how have they reacted? Like, good. Yeah, good. Um, my mum's always, always supported me. She's just always been like, have a backup plan and all this kind of stuff. Which is kind of what, which is why I went to, to college for a bit longer than I should have. I mean, I did my two years and should have been to uni, but I was like, I'm not taking on that whole commitment, you know. So, um, my mum's always been uh, been supportive of me and always kind of believed that I can make it, you know, if I want to. My sister's always been supportive. I've always been performing anyway, so it's, they're kind of used to it. But now it's like at a new, next, another level. So, but it's good. My little, my four-year-old sister's like, can you come and sing at our school? My teacher's <laughs> what years ago. No, this kind of stuff. But um, yeah, it's good. I'm, I'm just happy I can make them proud, you know. Any more videos of yourself on YouTube in different places or? Yeah, 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 definitely, man. With that? Yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, it's just, I don't like forcing it. That's the only thing. Because sometimes people just like, they just message, oh, if I upload something else or I'm talking about a competition on YouTube, people are like, can you just sing in the public? And I'm like, well, you know, that's not all I'm gonna do, like just sing in public, mm -hmm. just to please these people. Cause I only wanna do it if it feels right, if it feels natural and it's a good vibe. Like, so if I'm, if I'm, you know, traveling around uh, and the moment kind of hits me, yeah, man, definitely, okay. definitely. Now let's get the plug in for Showgirl. Tell people where they should go get it and pe where people can find you on Twitter. Facebook. Oh yeah, um, what's up? It's Blue Robinson here. Um, Check out Showgirl, it's my debut single. Um, it's coming out 29th of May. Um, check me out on twitter.com forward slash Bluey Robinson. Facebook.com forward slash Bluey Robinson official, I think. Um, and our YouTube is Bluey Robinson TV. Um, look out for me, just do my thing. Loving music and life. Much love. What's the date? What's the date? It's, it's officially out. 29th, 29th of May. Yeah. Yes. 29th of May is when Showgirl comes out on iTunes. Please buy it and make my career a good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Robinson, much appreciate your time, sir. Respect. Thank you.